That's destroy right. your navies, That's destroy right. your air force, That's destroy right. your marines, That's right. destroy your CIA, That's right. destroy your FBI. That's, That's right. All of it's going down. That's, That's right. Because right. you're no good. Wait. Name on. one Hold good on. thing you've done on the earth. I'm going to give you the money. One good thing you've done. Name one thing. Yeah, speak. Name one you thing. Give me one chance to speak. You ain't gonna hold it. I'm gonna let you hold it. No, you can hold it. I'm gonna let you hold it. No, no, you can hold it. Name one good thing. I'm gonna let you hold it. No, you don't hold it. Oh, yeah, one good thing. May I speak? I forgive you. You don't forgive me. How you gonna forgive He said one good thing the white man has done. Now he wants to forgive me, but what about his wife? She's always deceiving. Oh no! I said the white man as a people, what good have they done? He says I forgive you. Your forgiveness requires a forgiven to cease from the sins of being forgiven for. Okay? The forgiveness puts 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 put some money in the pot. That's forgiveness. Give some, yes. Okay, come and work for us free. That's forgiveness. It's action. It's not your words. And I'm telling you. Listen, and, and forgive me for what? For what? You know what I'm saying? Forgive for what? I ain't do nothing to you. What you forgive me for? You know what I'm saying? He's a fool, man. You're a fool. Isaiah 9 and 5. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments. Rolled in blood. So ancient battles were fought with horses and knives and swords and garments rolled in blood. Men falling off the horse with the heads rolling off, the arms. But, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Second Timothy third chapter. This battle is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. That's right. How do your weapons run? That's fuel. Right. That's why he's trying to get all the fuel in Afghanistan and Iraq so he can power his jets and power his missiles and power his military machine because the white man was looking back to the old, good old days. When was America great? When they raped, robbed, and murdered, and killed. That's when you were great. That's the great that, that Trump wants to bring back. It's a rape, robbery, and murder. Great don't mean great for you or the Indians or the Hispanic or the Latinos or the Negroes. It means great for the rich white man. Right. Even you poor white folks would get you behind beat back in the day. Right. Because the rich landowners was beat you there. Give you the fight and die like hell in the colonial war. Right. That's right. Fight against North York. You don't like crazy for of rich guys. Okay? You ain't got nothing. He called the y'all out. Because after the white man, the most I read it, the white man would have take out blacks and Indians, who's the next niggas? You poor whites like you running around. You go to you the next niggas. Okay, go ahead. Second Timothy 3 and 1. The book of Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. So in the last days, perilous times shall come. John 18, 36. We in perilous times. You can die all kind of ways. The white man has a decree that any blacks they see, there's certain whites that are part of this fraternal order of police. And they're paid to go out there and kill blacks to sacrifice them to the devil. That's why, they get, that's why they're getting away with it. Okay? Because they need sacrifices to Satan. How come you don't see blacks killing whites like that? Right. Black cops are better than white cops. Right, bring it you out. You know to go out there and use procedure. But the white <laughs> cops, you, you're giving a green light. That's right. To kill right. Negroes right. at random. And right. you're doing right. it. It ain't mean right. lying, making right. that not an exaggeration. Right. Turn your TV on. Right. You'll see it. Because you're the devil the Bible speaks if you're going to get out the scriptures too. Read that. Right. The book of St. John, chapter 18, verse 36. Yahweh Shai answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. So the one you call Jesus Christ, this old white devil you got running around in the Vatican and this pedophile faggot, Pope you got up in there, right. okay? Right. This right. Christ you worshiping, this world is not his world. All what you're praying for has been in vain. Satan right. is listening. Well, Christ is like, I want right. my people to wake up and I'm coming to save them. He said, my servant is, is not of this world. 
If this world was our Christ, we would be fighting for it. But how is Christ, how does this world represent Jesus Christ? Where's the righteousness? Where's the love at? Where's real forgiveness? Right, right, bring it out. Where's the real kingdom of Christ at? Where's, where's the law at? Where are the real Jews at in the land? The Bible says when the Jews are back in the land, the earth shall learn war no more. Men shall bang the weapons in the plow sheds. It ain't happening. That's right. The Bible says when the Jews are back in the land, David shall be the king and Christ shall be God. And all 12 tribes shall gather and there should be peace throughout the earth. Is that going on right now? No, it's not. So obviously the Jews in Israel are not the real Jews because they're going against prophecy. Where's the peace at? Where's the new temple at? Where the 12 tribes at? It's not there because you Jews are fake. White Jews are walking around with a black man's nationality. You're going to die for that. That's right. Okay? So we ain't fighting in your wars. What's a black man got to do with a white man's army? That's right. right. That's right. Fighting for the slave man. Right, 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 right. You got Obama up there. A Uncle Tom for the white man. That's right. Ain't no black man gonna be over the white man if I mean uh, over the white man if the white man don't control him and got him in his pockets. Right. right. Obama's just a, a he, he a super Tom. He just an uncle that's a super Tom. And your way he thought he gonna come and wave his wand and change the white man, make all white men love the Negro, make all the white men love the Indians. The white man's gonna just do all love. Obama man, he was just a player. That's why he's gonna go out, he came in, he's, he, he's like a dog with a leash. Right, right. He's barking, right. That's the right. white man pull that chain and come right back in. And that right goes back. to right. That's right. right. That, 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 right. Right. that goes to right. Jesse Jackson. That's right. right. That goes Sharpton. to Ron Sharpton. Right. 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 All these black ladies, right. you know Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. on a leash. Break it down. You tell a good top, but then the white man know when to pull you in. That's why you still alive. That's right. Because, right. because right. you got you had your paycheck. Yeah. And the white man ain't take you out. That's right. Okay? So we gotta look at this thing realistically. This is not our world or we'll be fighting for. Why are we gonna fight for faggots, lesbians, pedophiles? And an and, 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 and idiot president. He's an right. idiot, man. Right. That's, That's all right. he is. That's right. Yeah, I see you in slavery, white man. That's right. what time is That's coming. Right. That's Let's right. get informed That's right. That's Revelation right. 13. One more to go with. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. One more. Don't forget to leave a donation. Leave, leave your, your free oil offering because you owe it. Your foreparents stole our money and riches. Start repayment now. That's right. That's right. We're going to take it all. We're going to take it anyway. Read it for me. The book of Revelation. Hold on now. Hold on. Chapter 13, verse 9. This is for you. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Bring it out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Who are the saints of the Most High? Israelites. Psalm 148.14. Let's get it for him. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. They wonder why we ain't killing yet. Because right. of this scripture right here. That's but if you right. do killing, you're going to wonder, why don't y'all stop? Because we ain't going to stop until all you uh, That's right. And you that's wicked right. black we'll phone left us. dead power right. in captivity. Right. Right. It's time for y'all to get down. It's time for whites to stop ruling because you had your chance. That's right. right. 400 years. That's right. 400 years to, to love the Negro. 400 years to love the earth. You destroyed the air. You destroyed the food. You destroyed the ozone layer. You, you, you destroyed the waters and the ocean in 200 years. Black nations didn't do that. We didn't do that. You did it. You were four prince. Yes, you did. You are living as a result of that. In less than 200 years. You got your dividends. You got paid for what you were in school. You're a mighty white man. Yeah, you got it all. You can go get it. Listen, uh, go rape Robert right. Murder, you'll you get it back. That, that's how y'all get it. Stop go and rape this right. and Rob you'll and you'll get your pay. Your because you're not that's designed to be righteous. Right. You're a man of hate. That's right. You must go out and take right. what you want. What that's how your ancestors got it. Read that for me. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, 
Praise ye Yahweh. The children of Israel. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. The Israelites are the 12 tribes of Israel. Those whose forefathers were the Negro, Indian, Hispanic, Latino, the natives throughout the Americas are the true people of God. Right. The Most High Yahweh. Those are the Israelites. Those are the 12 tribes. That's right. Christ is a black man, and you're going to find that That's out, you right. white devils. You're going to find out the truth. That's right. You're going to find out life has been alive. That's right. Bring it out. Right. And our life is a life coming from the life of everlasting truth. The Negroes and Indians. That's right. Yeah, give me a uh, second Ezra, the sixth chapter, the 54th birth. Because Esau is the end of the world, right. and Jacob is the, is the beginning of it that follow it. Bring it out. All right? And we are coming next. We got next. The Most High said that we will take the kingdom, but the right. kingdom shall be taken by the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's you right. got it? Read. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and, of, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the Most High made this world for our sake. The universe, the universe, the earth, and all the things thereof has been made for the nation of Yasha Allah. But in order for us to get this world, we have to come back to repentance. The raw basics, understanding that we must repent before Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. We must come back to obedience, coming back to obe being obedient to the moral, civil, dietary, and ceremonial commandments found in the Bible. And then we must understand Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and our nation Yasha Allah. And furthermore, to understand that we are uh, we are in the last days of the Greco-Roman Empire's rulership on the planet Earth. That's right. That's right. And the Most High said that he shall destroy this wicked world, this world that has been given over to same-sex marriage, this world has been given over to beastliality, yeah, bring it up. all right? This world has been given over to rape, robbery, and murder. Go to Isaiah, the 30th chapter, all right? Isaiah, the 30th chapter, and it says, woe to them that desire to go down into Egypt. And what is Egypt? Egypt is a Greek word that means bondage, and America is the place of Egypt, just like America is the place of Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? And the Most High said, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. There's no help coming to you so-called Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans by this, by this government, by Donald Trump, by the 45th president. There shall be no help. Your help will only come back, come to you when you are obedient to the moral, civil, and dietary laws in the Bible. Isaiah 30th chapter, <clears throat> starting from the first verse. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh. And we are those rebellious children, saith Yahweh. We are rebel against the moral, civil, and dietary commandment. That's why it came to America on cargo slave ships. The whole purpose of, of us coming to this eighth summit is to understand that we must offer our prayers That's as the, the nation of Yasha Allah. Okay? We must offer our prayers in the in the understanding of Deuteronomy the 30th chapter, verses 1 through 3. And understanding that we must offer our prayers to our <coughs> Heavenly Father, as it says in Leviticus, the 26th chapter, verse 40 to 43. Continue reading. That take counsel, but not of me. Right, they take counsel, not of the Heavenly Father, not in the Torah, but under the word of the so-called white man, under the word of the American government, of America, okay, of the UN. Take counsel from that the, uh, wicked and sinful kingdom. Read. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. And they cover not with a covering, but not of the cover, spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Not under righteousness, not under obedience, not under Yahweh Yahweh Shah Yasha Allah. Not with the understanding that we must repent. In order to receive salvation, we must repent and demonstrate a level of obedience to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. 
that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down. That they may add sin to sin. And we are adding sin to sin when we follow the ways of America, when we follow same-sex marriage, when we want to follow bestiality, when we, when we want to follow whoremongering, when we want to follow idolatry, when we want to follow witchcraft. All this is sins being added onto sin, which will lead to your death. Because there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end result is death. And that's what's going to come upon you so-called Negroes, West Indian, Haitians, Dominicans, Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, Argentinians, Chileans, Colombians, Brazilian, Uruguayans, and Mexicans, of Indian and Latino descent, of Aztec and Maya descent, of Negro and Indian descent, <clears throat> that you will be headed towards the Third World's War as prophesied in the Bible. All right? Any more to that? Read. that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth and you have not asked at the mouth of the of the Heavenly Father how do you ask at the mouth of the Heavenly Father by reading the scripture in the book of Joshua the first chapter the eighth verse this is the book of Lord which shall not depart out of thy mouth that thou shalt meditate upon it daily and shall have good success when you apply the law the Torah to your life it's about being obedient. It's about keeping the Shabbat. It's about keeping the new moon. It's about keeping the high holy days as they come up according to the new moon. About the Feast of Tabernacles. About the Day of Atonement. About the Day of Passover. Okay? About Purim. About Hanukkah. About the Day of Pentecost. Okay? That's how you show your obedience to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai Hamashiach by keeping the weekly Shabbat as it comes up, but not giving unto your own personal pleasures on the day of Sh of the Shabbat, all right? Not buying and selling on the day of Shabbat, all right? By not giving in to reveling, which is partying, but <laughs> to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And you want to strengthen yourself in the strength of Pharaoh, which is America. That's why you're believing in Donald Trump. That's why you think America's going to be great. America would not be great. America would be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. That's right. ICB and nuclear missiles will be shot over on America by Russia, by India, by Pakistan, by China by all the allies. They shall all turn and hate the great whore, which is America, which sits upon many waters. We read in the book of Revelation, the 17th chapter. They shall all turn and hate America. The only exception is Britain, okay? But then all the other allies shall turn and hate America. And we see that happening now. We're in the last days of the Greco-Roman Empire rulership. Okay, go ahead. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And you chat, read that again. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Trusting in the shadow of Egypt. Thinking that America is gonna be your prosperity. Thinking that Donald Trump is gonna make America great again. That's all foolishness according to the Bible. Go ahead. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. For the strength of Pharaoh shall be your shame. Believing in Donald Trump will be your shame, your indignation, and your death. Believing in America will be your death and indignation. America's headed to the thermonuclear destruction. But before that happens, go into the Apocrypha. Go to 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, starting from the 10th verse. Because the plagues of Egypt will come upon America a second time. All the plagues that have been prophesied in the Bible will hit America again, all right? All the plagues of Egypt will hit America again. Give me 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, start from the 10th verse. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. And our people are being led as a flock to the to the slaughter. Believing in America, believing in Donald Trump, believing in American government, government, believing in the second resurrection of this economy. Go ahead. I will not suffer them 
now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And the most I will not suffer is to dwell in the land of Egypt. Go ahead. But I will suck you. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And do what to Egypt? And will destroy all the no. land thereof. Read, read that part again. And smite Egypt with, as the plagues before. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. And what were some of the plagues that hit Egypt? The water turning into blood. Okay. The frogs. The lights. The boils on the people's body. Okay. The flies. The locusts. The three days of darkness. Okay. And finally, the firstborn of the Egyptians being slain. <clears throat> but the game changer will be that when you turn on your faucet in your house, when you go and take a shower in your bathtub, Bring it out. the water that's going to come out is going to be blood. And you're going to run in your house crazy. And you're going to look to your neighbor to your left. Your neighbor across the street, the neighbor to your right, and they all gonna look, you all going to look at each other crazy. Because you're going to realize that the prophecy of the Heavenly Father has come to pass. Read that again. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. So we're prophesying here on Miami Beach and over in California and over in Mexico, over in New York City, over in Philadelphia, over in Texas, okay, over in Illinois over in Ohio, over in North Carolina, over in Georgia, over in South Carolina, throughout the whole planet Earth. And the plagues of Egypt will smite America, which is known as Babylon. How do we know that? Go to the book of uh, Revelation. <coughs> the uh, 8th chapter and 11th verse. Okay, the book of Revelation, the eighth chapter, eleven verse, and the dead bodies lie in that great city, love which is preached you known as Sodom. Eleven. Uh, eleven. Uh, eleven. Revelation eleven and eight. Revelation eleven, chapter and eight verse. The book of Revelation, chapter eleven, verse eight. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. And their dead body. Dead to what? Dead to your nationality. Dead to the Torah. Dead to obedience. Dead to repentance. Dead to the last days. And their dead bodies are you so-called Negroes, West Indian, Haitians, Dominicans, Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indian, Argentinians, Chileans, Colombians, Brazilian, Uruguayans, and Mexicans. Your dead body to lie in that great city which is known as what? Spiritually it is called Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually it's called Sodom and Egypt. Why is America known as Sodom? Because what does America openly promote? Homosexuality, faggotism, same-sex marriage, beastliality, okay? All right. Right, Good. So the most I said, that their dead bodies will lie in that spiritual city is known as Sodom, which promotes same-sex marriage, beastliality, gay marriages, homosexuality, freakism, lasciviousness, reveling, and also as Egypt. How do we come to America on cargo slave ships? That's right. So we are here in the latter part of the Greco-Roman Empire. And we're prophesying that America shall be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. All right? And we're telling you so-called Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans that you must come back to your nationality. Come back to obedience. Come back to the Torah. Come back to repentance. Come back to obedience to the moral, civil, and dietary laws in the Bible. That's right. Understand your creator, Yahweh. Understand your Messiah, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Understand your nation, Yasha Allah, and understand these last days that are coming to America. America's headed towards thermonuclear destruction. So on that note, we say peace to the nation of Israel, the ones of you that come back to your nationality, and we say death to America. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Con, con, con. Mic check, okay. Let me get a Lamentations chapter four, start at verse 16. What we doing? What we dealing with today? What we got in front of, what are we dealing with, man? Y'all just put, you white people just put one of the worst satanic demons in office and you thought she was doing that to try to come against us. That's what you thought. It's a daggone shame. You thought you was about to bury us. And the thing about it is, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to wake up because you are on the block. Your head is on the chopping block. I was just down in Mexico, and what? The very first day that this monster got into office, I seen over 300 Cub Cubans, y'all, Cubanos, Esperano, and Mexico, a Valsi, Ceban Amori, a Regreso of Cuba, or let's make Canos, Tebada de Kedar Jai Mexico. You're about to see if y'all gonna be able to stay in Mexico or go back to Cuba and die. That's what this devil did. He had no conscience about it. This demon's about to take y'all down. You thought you was doing us hurt, but you're doing yourself hurt. Bring that out, Aqua, you got that. Y'all trusting and believing on this demon, and this is what we got to look forward to. Bring that. El enemigo. Uh, Lamentations 4 and 16. Let that roll. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 16, Aqua. Because y'all done trusting in this demon. Y'all trust him. Y'all believe every single word that come out of his mouth because it sounds good. He can tell you anything and it's going to sound good. He tell you Christ was a white man. Nowhere in the Bible you're going to find that, but you believe it. Why? Because it sounds good. He presented it to you right. Bring right. it out, Ock. Bring it. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 16. Read. The anger of the Most High have divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. Read. They favored not the elders. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So y'all trust and believe on everything that this guy is bringing out. Everything he said, you believe it. Y'all think, y'all thought that uh, Barack Obama was gonna bring salvation. What happened? You got, you got deported. He set up rules in order to get you out of here. You thought, you thought that you was voting in Christ. I remember people was talking about, oh, he's uh, he's the savior. He comes from, he's Superman. He comes from the moon or somewhere. Read. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. And that's what we got. Our children are dying every day because our people do not want to return to who they are. Who are you? Do you even know who you are? like the brother was bringing out earlier. We don't even know who we are, man, that's amazing. Right. We don't know who we are or what our purpose is. What are we right. supposed to be doing? I'm gonna go ahead and get that to you today. We're gonna bring that out today, who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. We're gonna bring that out because down. we are lost. If you don't know who you are, where you come from, how are you gonna ever know where you going? That's right. You see that? How you gonna know where you going? Right now, what are you thinking? Read. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is come. Okay, continue. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. So that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a wretched devil that has no regard for anything. Not for you. They don't, got any, don't have any regard for you. I mean, you, they can murder you our children in the street, right. and it's cool. Right. Oh, he must have, look at him. He uh, he dropped out of high school. Bring it out. Bring every it time out. we Bring every time we get murdered in the street, the first thing you see is what we did 25 years ago. Bring it out. That's what's amazing. Right. Every time, you you don't say, oh, that's wrong, man. We need to go ahead and get seek justice. Nah, you thinking, oh, he's a criminal, he's wrong, he's bad, he's a die. That's spiritual. Right. You hate us for no reason. What did we do to you? That's Bring right. it out. What did we do to you people? Bring it out. Bring it out. Read. They yeah. pursued us upon the mountains they laid wait for us in the wilderness go ahead the breath of our nostrils the anointed of the most high was taken in their pits okay. of, of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen give me give me jeremiah chapter uh 16 and verse 4. see what the our purpose of living of, of inhabiting this earth is when you read ecclesiastes 
chapter uh, 13, what is that, verse 12, he tells us, fear the most high and keep his commandments. Right. So you go to church, they don't teach you that. They tell you the law's done away with, you can eat pork, you ain't got to keep the Sabbath. They tell you everything to keep you buried, to keep you buried, and they will not tell you who you are. You are the Israelites, the children of Jacob. That's who you are. That's the children right. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the Most right. High made a covenant with our people and said that if we will keep his commandments, we'll be the wisest people in the, in the universe. That's what right. is that, uh, Deuteronomy 4, uh, uh, 4 and 6? He said that'll be your wisdom before the nations. So right now you're looking at some of the wisest men in the universe. Why? Because we keep the commandments of God Almighty. Right. While man-made religion, why Christianity, Antichrist, the white man's version of the truth, which is a lie, tells us not to deal with. Uh, what's the truth? When you read Psalms, Chapter 119, verse 142. Stop being a cool. Psalms 111, 192, he tells Stop us, being a cool. by law is the truth. Uh, so you're going to keep us from the truth. Read, most of our people just got through what? Commit, uh, committing the very worst sin imaginable, idolatry. Right. We lied to our children. We just got through celebrating the birth of Nimrod. When you read in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, he tells us that idolatry is the very first sin when you when you sin against the most high you commit an idolatry and worshiping satan so it's up to us to go ahead and let that go turn and repent and regress our most uh, uh nuestro deals can't say jama as yahweh right read the book of jeremiah chapter 16 verse 4 read they shall die of grievous deaths they shall not be lamented Neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face Let me get, of the uh, earth. Chapter 16, verse 14. Start there. Jeremiah 16 and 14. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 14. Read, bring it out. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Most High. The days is on, are on the way. This is what's about to happen. Right, bring it out. We're, gonna, we're telling you what's going to happen. Bring it out. Now, we're giving you an opportunity black so-called black man because if you don't change and you don't repent when you read ezekiel chapter 9 he said death is going to start with you that's what the bible say death is going to start with you and then he's going to get the other nations so you need to go ahead and change your ways repent and come back to the covenant that you made with the father the most high city honor all else so when you said all these things in exodus chapter 19 that you say shall we do the Most High holding your word to that. You agreed to go through this, so it's really your fault. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 14. Bring it out. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Most High. The days come, said the Most High. What days? The days of destruction, the days of famine, the days of death, the days of the end of all evil. Coming. When? When you read Matthew chapter 22, or 24 verse, uh, what is that, 37, he says, as if the, as in the days of Noah, they were marrying, they were giving marriage, look at y'all got so much to do, y'all so busy, y'all got all these other things to do besides come and listen to the wisdom. We're dealing with the wisdom of the Most High, and you ain't got time for that. Right. You see how that work? Right. You see how that work? Go ahead, bring it out, brother. That it shall no more be said, the Most High liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. We, we, we remember what happened in the first Egypt. What happened? They got hit with the plagues. They got hit with the water turning to blood, with the darkness, with the flies, with the uh, lice. And they got hit with the death of the firstborn of every Egyptian. He said, we ain't gonna be, he said, that's gonna be nothing. We're not gonna be talking about the Lord liveth, the most high God of Israel liveth that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. What are we going to be talking about, Reed? But the Most High liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. The land of the north. We ain't going to be dealing with Egypt. We're going to be dealing with the land of the north here in America. That's what we're going to be saying. Wow. Did you see what the Most High did to those people? Right now, y'all in Sunday school reading about what the Most High did in, in the first Egypt. 
And y'all thinking that these so-called white Jewish people fit that. Although Isaiah 29, 22 says, Jacob's face shall never wax pale. Y'all still, y'all focused on that. No, we didn't, we went in the first Egypt for 400 years. Go ahead. And from all the lands where he had driven them. So we concentrated right here in North America. All the tribes are in North, Central, South America. And we're scattered abroad, but the major focus of our people is right here in America. Right here in North, Central, and South America. So when you go down to Dominican Republic, to Haiti, to Mexico, they say, I uh, afuera a norte, which means uh, uh, outside in the north. When they talk about the north, when you look at the map down in Cuba, they exclude the north because they don't deal with y'all. Read. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. And this is what you got if you repent from your sin, which means breaking the commandments of God, like the brother brought out first, uh, second John first, chapter three, verse four. You stop breaking the commandments by eating pork. Being a little homosexual, having sex with your woman on her period, laying with beasts, I mean, this is, how much, how much worse can this place get, man? How much yeah. worse can this place get? And our people are caught up in this. Right. Hold that real quick. Hold that real quick. Give me Revelations 18 and 4. Bring it out. Get Revelations 18 and 4. It don't get no worse than this. How much worse can it get? But you're going you're gonna to find out that the most high have a limit. There's a sin limit. And any time you ever hit it, when you go back to, to uh, Genesis chapter 6, when you, when you hit that limit, all oh, the people are evil continuous. Send that plague, send that water, wipe them out. Come. Same thing with Sodom and Gomorrah. Her cry have reached to the, to the heavens. Now what are we dealing with now? Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse four. Bring it out. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Like I'm telling you right now, come out of her, come out of her sins, her wickedness, her idolatry, her Christmas, her Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and a fat white red man coming down the chimney to give you gifts, which is a lie. Colossians 3 and 9, uh -huh. lie not one to another. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So if you don't repent and come back to this covenant, you got that coming too. If you want to continue to be up in these false religions, you got that too. Worshiping these false gods, you got that too. What does worshiping mean? It means to kneel before to prostrate yourself. That's idolatry. When you set up that Christmas tree in your house, the Most High hated that. That's right. That's right. He hated that. That's, right. that's an abomination. He said, bring not the abomination into your house. And that's exactly what you're doing. When you read Jeremiah chapter 10, he said they cut the tree out the forest. They, they, they set it up as a palm tree. They screw it in, nail it in, decorate it in silver and gold. He said, I hate that. He said, learn not the ways of the heathen. That's right. They're not Israelites, they're heathen. Forget anything that they're bringing. Whatever they're bringing is a lie. You need to learn that. Go ahead, read. And that ye receive not of her plague. Destruction's coming to you too. Black, Native American, and Hispanics, it's coming to you too. So-called Latinos, what's a Latino? What is that? What is a Latino? Our people don't even know what a Latino is. It just means you speak Spanish. I'm a Negro, from so-called Negro from the United States. A yo por hablar contigo en español también. Am I Latino? Come on, man, let's get it right. Let's learn something. Go ahead and give me back, uh, give me back over to Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 16. Bring it out. Behold. I was sent for many fishers. Many fishers, that's what we're doing right now. We're fishing our people. That's right. What are you going to do? That's right. Christ said, I'm going to make you a fisher of men. So we are fishing. Go ahead. Behold, I was sent for many fishers, said the Most High. Read. And they shall fish them. Go ahead. And after world, I was sent for many hunters. After world, you're going to send for what? For many hunters. And what they going to do? For many hunters. Read and they shall hunt them. They're gonna hunt them. You like to hunt, you bloodthirsty demon? Let's see how you like getting hunted. Read. From every mountain and from every hill. So you think you gonna go up to NASA and go out in space, 
go sit up in Mars somewhere, go down to the cave somewhere in Kansas. You think you're doing that. You think you're saving up, you fool. You think you're doing that. But guess what? The Bible said that we're going to hunt you out of every hole and from every hill. Read. Right. And out of the holes of the rocks. Okay, so with that, we're going to close out. Uh... All right, Shalom King, Shalom. Come closer, come closer. Make a circle, make a circle, make a circle.